Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the second part of the series of 500 MCQ videos on general microbiology. Okay, so let's start. So the first question is the size of bacteria is measured in nanometers, centimeters, millimeters or micrometers and the right answer is option D that is micrometers. Okay. And 1 micrometer is, is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meters. Okay, so let's let's move on to the next question. That is the L forms are produced by the action of lysozyme, propordine, beta lysine or penicillin. And the right answer is option D that is penicillin. And these L forms are bacterial variants that lack a cell wall. And this L means lack. Okay, so this L form L form of the bacteria are lack a cell wall and two types of uh, uh, two types of L forms are there that is a protoplast and spheroplast. Protoplast is for gram positive bacteria which lack cell wall is known as protoplast and the gram negative bacteria which lack cell wall is known as spheroplast. Okay, so move on to the next question that is true statement regarding cytoplasmic membrane is it is a rigid wall. It is a semi permeable in nature. It is present above the cell wall and it is composed of polysaccharides. So, the right answer is option B. It is a semi permeable in nature. So, the cytoplasmic membrane is a semi permeable membrane. Okay, so move on to the next question is cell lysis, which involves water movement from outer envelopment into the cell, is called osmosis, plasmolysis, plasmoptysis, or hemolysis. And the right answer is plasmoptysis okay but its uh, opposite is the plasmolysis where the water but the water moves from the cell to the outer outer environment okay the next question is endotoxin is a protein lipoprotein polysaccharide or lipopolysaccharide and the right answer is option d that is lipopolysaccharide okay and these lipopolysaccharide are present on the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria the next question is sedimentation constant of bacterial ribosome is 40s 60s 70s or 80s and the right answer is 70s and this s means sedimentation s means uh, wetwork unit okay so move on to the next question that is the bacterial structure concerned Concerned with respiration is mesosomes, mitochondria, cell wall or Golgi apparatus and the right answer is option A that is mesosome and this mesosome perform the function of mitochondria in bacteria because bacteria lacks mitochondria but they have mesosome. So mesosome is the mitochondria like uh, organelle that is present in bacteria. So next question is the area between cell wall and cell membrane in gram negative bacteria is called the outer membrane plasmid or periplasmic space or mesosome and the right answer is periplasmic space which is present in between the cell wall and cell membrane okay. The next question is lipopolysaccharide is antigenic due to lipid A or arcine or flagellar H antigen or somatic O antigen and the right answer is option D that is somatic O antigen and this LPS or lipopolysaccharide which is present on the gram outer membrane of the gram negative uh, bacteria they have three parts that is the lipid A and a core polysaccharide and a O antigen somatic O antigen okay so the next question is flagella act as an organ of addition locomotion virulence or conjugation and the right answer is option b that is locomotion so flagella is required for the movement of the bacteria from one side to uh, another side okay so peritricus flagellation is seen in pseudomonas proteus vibrio or shigella and the right answer is option b that is proteus okay and this peritricus flagella means the uh, flagella present all over the bacterial body. Okay, so, the next question is mesosomes are more prominent in gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria, both gram positive and gram negative bacteria, or none of the above? And the right answer is option A that is gram positive bacteria. Okay. 
the next one is a uh, flagellation present all over the body is called lophotricus amphitricus peritricus or monotricus and the right answer is option c that is peritricus which is present all over the body and the next question is organisms showing monotricus flagellation is salmonella shigella proteus or vibrio and the right answer is option d that is vibrio and this mono monotricus flagellation flagellation or monotricus flagella means only one flagella is present in a bacteria okay and the next question is which of the following bacterial structure is involved in attachment to cell surface that is pili capsule flagella or mesosome and the right answer is pili okay the next question is metachromatic granules are chemically composed of polysaccharides or proteins or polymetaphosphates or lipids and the right answer is option c that is polymetaphosphate and this polymetaphosphates or metachromatic granules are inclusion bodies which are present in bacteria okay so next question is which of the following bacterium is not capsulated so the options are streptococcus pneumoniae, haemophilus influenzae, clefchiella pneumoniae or corinibacterium diphtheriae. Okay. So next question is, sorry, so answer is option D that is corinibacterium diphtheriae which cause diphtheria. So move on to the next question. True statement regarding bacterial endospore is they are produced by very young cells. They are produced by gram positive organisms only. They are produced when there is depletion of exogenous nutrients or they are produ or uh, they are products of bacterial multiplication so the right answer is option c they are produced when there is a depletion of exogenous nutrients that means when when uh, the vegetative cell face a harsh condition so they convert it to endospore which is a stable form of bacteria okay and uh, that time in the endospore condition the bacteria uh, uh, bacteria present in their metabolic inert condition okay they are metabolically inert in endospore so next question is glycocalyx refers to cytoplasmic membrane pili capsule or cell wall and the right answer is option c that is capsule okay so the next question is the following are physical methods of sterilization except flaming, sunlight, gram, uh, gamma radiation or phenol? Right answer is option D phenol because phenol is the only one in these options that is the chemical reagent which is used as sterilization but the other three are physical methods of sterilization. The next question is each spore on germination under favorable condition give rise to one vegetative cell two vegetative cell four vegetative cell or eight vegetative cells so right answer is one vegetative cell okay so after getting a favorable condition endospore germinate to a one vegetative cell the next question is disinfection means destruction of all pathogenic organisms inhibition of bacteria sterility causing destruction of all microorganisms or prevention of infection and the right answer is option a destruction of all pathogenic organism is known as disinfection and the process of destruction of all living microorganisms including spores is called antisepsis disinfection or sterilization or inhibition and the right answer is option c that is sterilization so sterilization means killing the all vegetative pathogenic and endospores but disinfection means only destruction of pathogenic organisms okay so let's move on to the next question that is the most reliable method to achieve sterility of instrument is autoclaving boiling uv radiation or fumigation using formaldehyde formaldehyde gas and the right answer is option a that is autoclaving okay so move on to the last question that is the best method of disposing in infective hospital materials is radiation boiling flaming or incineration the right answer is incineration okay so the option is right answer is option d and the destruction and this incineration means the destruction of something especially waste material by burning okay thank you for watching this video